I never got put on a grand for a stack, did that on my own I took two packs and a loan, that's two tabs open like Google Chrome Never see feds on the left, no penalty, man had to stay composed I know that I'm on like Super Saiyan 2 right now, innit? Yeah. And, no, 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 tell her that, like, I'm on Super Saiyan 3 right now But but I know that I can get to Super Saiyan 4, innit? Yeah. But... To, to get to Super Saiyan 4, I have to lock in more, be even more disciplined, push myself even more. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. To cut long so short, I do have plans to go places, as always, but it's definitely not, not the number one priority. Do, right, right, right. do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I just... I want... It's going to sound a bit mad, maybe, but... I'm I'm looking forward to sacrificing more yeah, yeah. in terms of sacrificing more of my fun time or leisure or whatever to just put even more into the real th- yeah the real things I want out of life you get me so yeah this is what what bruv anyway rotted crack open a new one I thought I was about to splash up myself on a mad thing cheers to the new year guys um no promo on that, though. <laughs> oh, shit, no, that's still promo. All right, cool. Anyway, and just like that, we're back. MTTE, More to the Ends podcast, myself, Big Cam. And today, I am by myself in the building. Tell a lie, I'm not. But on Cam, I am by myself in the building. Yeah, that felt mad because I was getting ready to say, who else is in the building? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was kind of mad. But I did, I've said this for over like 70 episodes. At some point, they will come when it's probably just going to be me in the studio on my own. Um, and I'm actually kind of embracing it. I'm enjoying it because sometimes you just want to kind of flow, have your stream of consciousness and say what you want to say without being interrupted or sidetracked. And right now, I think I've got the opportunity to do that still. So, as per usual, um, man's Kawhi, man's gassed because man's reached another year. Um a lot of achievements last year, a lot of things that I didn't even publicise or whatever because it's not for everyone. you got to pe- keep pieces of um, your achievements and stuff to yourself. But overall, personally, 2023 was actually a lit year for me. Um, but there was also a lot of mad things that happened, um, a lot of things that I tried to not let derail me, and that's like family members passing, people unaliving themselves, you know, and even friends, like, you know, getting hurt and whatnot. But yeah, cut long story short, 2023 is done. I'm not even going to go into like a wrap up and that because there's probably, like, personally, if I was you from the UK, I'd go and check out, well, from anywhere actually, I'd go and check out a rapper called R.A., go and check out his 2023 wrap up. That kind of summarises everything that happened. A lot of mad things, but... As per usual, we're back again for another year. We go again. Um, Boy, I'll say this. One thing I observed, and I don't know if anyone's noticed this, like in terms of our last few podcasts. I spoke a lot about spiritual warfare. I spoke a lot about trying to get closer to God, trying to lock in in terms of them energies. And I, it, well, it seems to me that I wasn't the only person going through this battle. I think a lot of people would admit that they had some lost moments, maybe done a couple of mad things, or just wasn't at their highest level performance wise in whatever field they were doing it, whether it be being a parent, whether it be just being a, a good partner, or just being like working hard at work, trying to level up in the workplace and stuff like that. And I think a lot of people, was battling with a level of complacency, a a level of no motivation, essentially, because I I found when I spoke to a lot of people at different times of the year, they would be quite disillusioned. They were kind of a bit lost and didn't really know what they were doing or why they were doing whatever they were doing. And fortunately for me, I wasn't one of those people. <laughs> I was on my shit, bro. I was grafting. New year, same shit, same different different shit, different toilet. You get what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, forget all the ramble. I just want to start the pod like this, innit? People, 
if you're on the streets or you're trapping or you're doing whatever, yo, get a job, fam. Like, like get a nine to five, get a job. And I'm, I'm talking as the man that has a nine to five and I'm legit and I'm cool and I just do my thing. And there's, there's this weird thing where people say, oh, I, I would hate to be only getting paid 12 times a year. But one, you're getting paid you're getting paid 12 times a year. You're getting paid more than a lot of people are getting paid at all. And two, just because you're getting paid 12 times a year, it doesn't mean that you can have multiple jobs, multiple streams of income, so that, yeah, you might get paid on 12 days a year, but you're still getting multiple streams of income. Like, I don't know, people seem to have this stuff twisted where they almost shame nine to fivers, or they might get a, a pay rise or maybe they get a promotion and now there's this level of, oh, I'm too good to do normal things to save money or to be more frugal or to be more sensible with their bread. And I've come to a point where I'm like, do you know what? I'm going to continue to do what I do on my own in terms of not following the crowd, not buying a bunch of designer shit that, as I said, is you're trying to impress people that don't give a shit about you. And once you wear it once in one picture, now all of a sudden you feel like you can't even post it again. These times you bought it, these times you have a washing machine. It's mad stupid, but I'm out of that now. Like I'm fully just doing what I want to do and wearing the clothes that I want to wear with chest. And I say that in terms of sometimes I feel like there's this pressure, and obviously, I guess it is social media. There's this pressure to live up to what everyone else has decided is the expectation. But as people should be reminded that man's posting my highlights. I'm posting when I'm flying out and that. I'm posting when I'm going out with my bros or my peoples. I'm posting all the happy moments. I'm not posting when I might have been short of pay or I might be behind on something or... I had a low day or I forgot to flip and eat because I was grinding so hot. Like, I'm not posting the moments or the times when it's difficult. Me, personally, I don't post them because I think there's already enough negative stuff on social media. So, you know. But I found that people are searching for lights in this world, essentially, is what I'm trying to say. And me, personally, I'm trying to be one of those lights. You get it. So with that being said... Get a fucking job, bro. <laughs> get a job. Like, stop wasting your time trying to do these get-rich-quick schemes, these Ponzi schemes, these flipping, like, what do they call it, ACN or, like, Herbalife or whatever it is, bro. Like, forget all of these schemes and just do something that is legit, that you know you're going to get your bread and that potentially there's movement to grow in that field. Do you get it? And also, for me, I'm approaching 30, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And... As I had a conversation with my boy, I said, Ra, I never knew what life would be like at 30. I knew people that was that age, but I didn't know what that looks like for someone coming from my background. Do you get it? So now I'm in a place where I can envision what I want my life to look like over the next 10 years. I'll be so real. You see this 2024? No one ain't stopping nothing, bro. Like today it was pissing down. It's all thunderstorm in that. God has blessed me that I have a car, I have a license and I can drive and come to the studio same way. Do you get it? So that's that's my message to, to the people that are still trying to do these little get rich quick schemes. Like, it's not going to make it, bro. Like, even if you made like a quick bag or, or you're doing the betting thing, you make a quick flip, it's not going to make it, bro. That's not sustainable. Get a job, like, get a life, get some sort of real livelihood that when someone asks you, what do you do? You can actually say, I do this and it brings you legit income. Because what well, they say, slow money is better than no money. Do you get it? So, yeah. Um, another thing I wanted to fight the people. Being selfish is not a bad thing. For a long time, I thought to myself, raw like, i got to be Superman. i got to be there to, you know, I don't know, make it for everyone. Or every time someone calls me, i got to be there and blah, blah, blah. But there is no point being there for everyone else and not being there for yourself. There's no point going out of your way and doing things for people that if you weigh it up over the the course of however long, whether it be five, ten years, whatever, you weigh it up and you realise, what have they actually done for you, bruv? Like, what have they actually done for you? Have they really... When you tell them good news, how do they react? Do they say, "Ra, that's great. You should try this. You should go for this. Do they encourage you or do they say, oh, do you know what? I wouldn't do that, you know. I think that's too hard, you know. Oh, everyone does that, you know. 
Get rid of those people, bruv. Stay away from people that find a problem in every solution, fam. Get rid of them people. You don't need these people in your life. Me personally, that's what I've been doing. I've been making sure that my circle is tight. I can count the amount of bridges that I got, I got on my hand, and that's facts. Um, it doesn't mean that if I see people and I don't say cool to them or whatever it is that these people are not my friends. Yeah, they're my friends, but I'm talking about people that I'm willing to put my neck on the line for and vouch for. I can count the amount of people on my hands. If you have a bigger circle than that, that's fine. But, you know, the more water you let in the ship, is the easier it is to sink, in it? So don't let that go over your head, it? But yeah, um, also... I have to take a sip on the yak for this one still. Mm -hmm. Also, do not, I repeat, do not be fooled by family members or close friends in quotation marks that come to you on a vibe like they're really here for you and they're trying to help you and they're interested in the moves that you're making. Do not be fooled by these people. Because they can still be a pagan, fam. <laughs> they can still be a pagan. They can still be an op. They can still be trying to actually leech off your situation. As I said, when you're chatting to these people and they're saying, oh, where, where are you flying out? Or what you got planned and rare, rare, rare? Are they floating ideas back at you? Are they coming with a, a certain level of energy? Or are they talking about, raw? how much you spend on that? Raw, I wouldn't, I would even do that, you know? <laughs> like... You have to be wary of people, regardless if they're friends or family or work colleagues or your gal or your man. When you're talking to them about something you hope to achieve, you have to be mindful of how they respond. Because if they're not meeting you with the same energy, or at least giving you a little word or a line of encouragement, you don't need that person in your vicinity, fam. They're going to be an anchor. They're going to hold you down and not in the right way. They're going to stop you. It's going to be like you're, you're trying to drive the car, but you're in park, fam. You've got the handbrake up. You get it, so just just be mindful of these people. Because for me personally, like I said, I've always tried to do the Superman thing, and I've had friends and family that I've I've actually gone out my way for. And as I said, I'm doing the reflection. I'm saying, Raj, you know what? If I was to top up the amount of times I've done things, I've done bare things for these people, but I can't really name numerous times that these people have done anything for me, and. It's sad because you, you assume that people that know you the longest or um, people that are in your family, your blood, your relative, whatever, you assume that these people are going to have your best interests at heart. But what it is, is they can see that you're developing, you're growing, you're, you're, you're on your journey, you're on your path, you've got your standards. And they don't understand how you manage to get into that setting. They also don't understand how you grind so hard. So all they can do is throw random negative shit at you or try and derail you or distract you or pocket watch you, whatever it is. All they can do is negative stuff because in their own life, they know they've either messed up or they're not trying to put in the work like you're trying to put in the work. And that's why when, when you're trying to outgrow, and I know I'm fucking spitting, by the way, because you lot probably think, right, this guy's really chatting, chatting. When you're trying to outgrow or... It, um, evolve as a person I've experienced this thing where sometimes I'm looking around and I'm like right I don't even know like who's who right now because I can't chill with them because you lot are not on piss I can't chill with you lot because you lot are slightly a bit above my station and that but now I'm in a purgatory state because there ain't really no one in the space on my level individually what I'm on it's a bit tapped I don't know if I'm even explaining this properly but the point I'm trying to make is stay away from um, people that are not helping you to achieve your goals and are just a distraction, bro. Like, I feel like it's a new year and time is going rapid as hell. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older. I don't know if it's because I'm having so much fun. But either way, time is going very quickly. And if you let another year pass you and you don't do a few of the things that you have listed, because I know you wrote something down or you done your manifestation or you recorded a video. If you don't do a few of those things that you have said you're going to do, at the end of the day, it's only you that's going to be pissed off because it's your life, your life, your car. Where are you going? What's your destination, fam? Do you get it? So, yeah, I like that one still. I am spitting, you know. I might have to do this a bit more, Benga, you know. It's a bit wavy still. Let me let me take a, take a sip of the yak for this one still. Mm -hmm. 
What we saying though? Um, I'll say this. You have to ask yourself, what do you want out of life, bro? <laughs> like, and and because even before I came here, my missus said to me, "Ra, like, Cam, why did you get so deep with shit?" Like, and I was like, "Because life is deep, bro. Like, the amount of things that people take for granted, getting home safe." There are people getting home safe. You take a flight, you get on the plane and you come back and there was no crash. Like, it wasn't cancelled. Like, you got money to even be there. Like, the amount of things that you take for granted day to day, bro, life is deep. I care about life. And if you don't care about life, I don't want you around me. Do you get it? Because I care about my life. You should care about yours and we care about life together. That's the motive. These people that are on this vibe of raw, I don't even care. I just do what I want. It's whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is until it isn't. It is what it is until it isn't. After you ask yourself, raw, what do I want out of life? What, what do I want my life to look like in the next three, three, four, five years or two years or six months even? What do I want my, my life to look like? You then have to say to yourself, raw, okay, so how do I do that? Like, how do you make, let's say you want to stack 12 grand or whatever. Okay, so how can I make enough to have the resources to put away a grand a month or whatever it is? I'm just saying as an example, like reverse engineer whatever you want to achieve. Go and do research on the people that's already done it. Go watch interviews, go watch podcasts, go read their books, go and figure out some new shit in the field that you want to learn. Don't just be resting on your laurels and thinking, yeah, what I know is what I know and what I don't, it was no, bro. Like, there's an opportunity to learn so many new things that could benefit you in life. Certain shit that you don't even know, you're going you're gonna to use it as a skill. But all of a sudden, because you've been studying it or you've deep dived into it after 30 minutes or 30 days even, now you're like, Raj, you know what? This meditation thing, five minutes a day, I, I feel different. Oh, do you know what? This thing where I'm I'm cutting out breakfast and I'm just having a tea for breakfast or I'm not drinking alcohol in the week. Like when you start to do these little changes and the other thing I have to say is as well, I know that it's hard when you set off to do something and day four you've messed up and you backslided or whatever it is and you're trying to get back onto it. I know it's hard, but this is your own battle in your own race. It's you against you. So if this week you stuck to your plan for three days, but you fell off on the fourth. Next week, you aim for four. And the next week, you aim for five until, rah, you're just doing it weekly. And then the weekly becomes monthly. And then the monthly becomes yearly. Do you get it? So, yeah, man, I just, I care about people, man. Like, that's the truth. That's the reason why I'm even here rambling in a camera to you when there's no one else here. Like, it's just me and you. I care about people, bruv. I want more for people. I want people to want more about more out of their life. I want people to watch TV shows and say, "Raw, why can't I be there as well?" Like, I like watching stuff like um, what's that TV program on Channel Four, man? And it's um, they're always doing like they're selling the houses abroad and that, and then the couples and that will go abroad and oh, what's it called, man? Bear with me, people. Bear with me. Channel 4 slash Sun, C and what? Selling houses. Selling houses. All right. Sun, C and selling houses. I'm going to say it again. Sun, C and selling houses. Do you know why I like them programs? Because they're putting my mind into a space where I'm seeing sh- places that I didn't even know existed. Then I'm getting the numbers of how much properties in that cost. Am I in a position to buy multiple properties abroad? No, I'm not. But I will be. I guarantee you that I will be. Eventually, I will be. And when I watch those shows, they make me go to myself, raw. why can't I be on this show with me, with my gal looking at places in, I don't know, bloody Greece or Turkey or wherever it is. Like, why can't I be there? Why can't I be on one of them them mad shows called um, Escape the Chateau and that and it's some big fuck off mansion and that. Like, why can't I be there? Like, as I said, it even says it on my case, bruv. Everything you can imagine is real. And that's that's what I'm trying to encourage people to to it starts from here, bro. Like when I go to sleep, this is real shit as well. Like I'm really trying to be as authentic as I can be. When I go to sleep, I literally envision like what I want my life to look like in five to ten years. I envision 
marriage. I envision the kids that I want. I, I envision the house that I want. I envision the property that I want to acquire. I envision so many things that obviously I have to give um, God the grace for the fact that I have certain things right now. But by the time I'm done doing all of that, now I'm going to sleep and I'm just going to sleep on a nice, peaceful vibe because, like, I'm literally... I don't know. I feel like I'm projecting the energy and the, and the things that I want to achieve into my brain to the point where I can literally see it in front of me. The scary part is, though, and this is something I've actually probably never said, the scary part is I don't know necessarily who's around me once I've achieved these things because I don't really envision that. I just I envision acquiring these things but again it's another thing i want to encourage people to do when you go to sleep you can't um you can't sleep so you go on your phone or a rare put the phone down bro turn off the phone and have a think and say right all right cool like i don't know i'm mid-20s or i just turned 21 or i just turned 18 what, what does the next five years look like for me who do, who do i want to be what do I want out of my life? Because essentially, and this is what I keep reiterating to people, and this is why people like myself are so calm and comfortable and so open and honest, because essentially, I'm living my life for me. Like, when I'm going to gym at three in the morning or four o'clock in the afternoon, but then hitting work or whatever I'm doing, I'm doing all these things, not because I want someone to clap and say, yo, Cam, I just saw you in the gym four days in a row. Well done, bro. I don't care about that. That's not his life. It's my life. I'm in the gym for me so that hopefully a week later I look at myself and put on certain clothes and say, yeah, do you know what? I like how that drops still. I can see the growth. I can see the biceps. I can see the triceps. I put the fucking work in. Do you get it? And ultimately, man can't take shit away from me when I know I put the work in. And in fact, let me switch up the energies because <laughs> sometimes I'll be too much on this humble, calm thing and rare, rare, rare. I've got to say certain shit like this. Listen, today I did a young social media clear out and I just unfollowed certain people and certain pages that I just thought to myself, do you know what? You watch my shit, but you never like my shit. You know me in real life and you don't actually support what I do, but you, you would say you're my friend. And I had to get to a point of like, do you know what? Don't need that energy either. I don't need just people just with their evil eye or just looking off in from the distance trying to see what I'm on and if they can do it too and have they done it before me and Broski, dead. Don't care about that. Block, unfollow, mute the page. We're off that now. This year is all about you, fam. What are you getting out of your life? Are you going to get to 2025 and say, Rod, you know what? I wish um I wish I had went to oh I wish I bought um I wish I invested in um stop the I wish thing and just do fam just do just do like my bro said raw where are you going this year I said I don't even know but these times I had a conversation with my girl about fucking six seven places that I want to go to like bro I don't I don't know man I care about people and I want you to want more out of your life but what I will say is this I am going to be someone in life. I am someone in life, in fact. And I'm going to be even bigger and better as a person and a human every single day. Not no big headed thing. I just know this because I'm putting in the work. If you want to be an ordinary, just an everyday NPC, you know, just, just a fart in the wind, that's fantastic and that's fine for you. But you can't roll with me, bro. Like, Gallim is, like, whoever, like, family, you can't roll with me if you're not trying to do something with your life and be something and make something out of your life. Do you know how mad it is? Hold on, let me do a quick Google. Come man thinks sometimes I'm just waffling here. Let me just do a Google. Um, hey, Siri, what are the chances of being born? The probability of you being born, the odds of you of, of even existing here on Earth are estimated to be about one in 400 trillion. It is a one in 400 trillion chance that you even exist and you can even listen to me waffle on this camera and you're here every single day wasting your time doing nothing with your life. Like, do you know how mad this is to me, bro? That is, bro this, this is why I say, as I said, this is why I say what I'm saying. This is why I'm here chatting to you. You know what I mean? If you feel offended, then I guess the shoe fits. Bro. I don't really business, bro, because we're not on this offended thing. Like, even that. Stop the offended thing. Why are you so offended, bro? 
You should be content within yourself to be able to take to be able to take constructive 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 <laughs> constructive criticism. You should be able to be content to take constructive criticism. Someone tells you, "Rah, bro, you could be doing this better." Forget about if they're black, white. Forget about if they're young, old. Forget about if they've done it already in that. If it's a way that you check and you say, right, yeah, this is actually a way to, to, to be better and develop as a person, then why are you not taking it on board? What, because at the moment, this person looks like they don't have more money than you? Or what, because they, they're younger than you? So what do they know? What have they lived? Nonsense, bro. You can pick sense from nonsense. So as I've said before, a homeless man... An alcoholic says to you, "Ah, mate, don't. I wouldn't drink all that if I was you. You should probably listen to him, bro. He looks like a man that knows what he's talking about. Hence the fact that he's homeless and he's an alcoholic. But yeah, man, um, this is the energy we're on, 2024, man. I, I, I can't lie. I'm relishing people being uncomfortable around me because I can see it happening, you know. I'm relishing, like, people looking at me and going, raw, like, where's this coming from? What's this about? And you know what all this, all this coming from is getting closer to God, repeating the same stuff I've been doing for the last few years, cutting away more distractions, being more disciplined. I ain't saying nothing that's all fantastical, like, oh, I'm saving five bags a month. I've got seven jobs. I've got 22 different streams of income. Like, no, nah, it's not even about that. I'm just being very, very careful with my time, my energy, how I'm moving, what I'm, the algorithm, the, the Instagram that you're watching, the pages that you follow, the YouTube videos that you watch, the shows that you watch. Like, I'm being very particular with these things this year, bro. And um, as I said, I'm trying to be someone. If you're not, unfortunately, we can't hang because we're reading from two different um, hymn sheets. But yeah, let me take, take a sip on the yak for that one, still. <laughs> Ah, yeah, that was good. That was good. I ain't finished, but yeah, I, I, I like I like where I was with that. Do you know what I mean, it's um, it's all from love, essentially, is what why, why I'm spouting all of this stuff. It's all from love. There's so many people that I see, and there's they're talented as well. That's the part that gets me. People are very very talented and. They're dimming their light because they're afraid of what their partner's going to do or they're afraid of what their parents are going to say. And it's like, bro, if you know that you can do something, forget what other people are going to say because they're going to say shit regardless. As I said, man's going to say, be yourself until you be yourself. And they say, nah, don't be yourself like that, though. Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, just just walk your own path, fam. And for the people that hear every single thing that I've said in this episode, yeah? And the people that are like, Raj, you know what? I feel like he's talking to me or I feel like this is what I've been seeing and what I've been feeling. It's because you are part of the chosen few people who just have the magic glasses. You just can see life for what it is. The distractions, the the jezzies, the 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 gambling, the, the peas, like, it's all, the rat race, like, it's all a bunch of shit, bro. <laughs> like, because for me, and, and I'll say it like this, My life is just about trying to be better than I was yesterday. Trying to help someone if I can. That's literally what my life is about. I've got a a vision of where I want my life to be in five years, 10 years. And I'm going to try and work every single day to do that. That's all. That's my whole shtick. My my bro said to me, Ra, you said, Cam, like sometimes you be talking all this stuff, like this inspirational stuff and that. But like, how do you actually achieve like these things that we might believe we can achieve or set out to achieve or whatever. And I said, bro, there's one word, consistency. That's literally my whole flow. That's literally my type beat, bro. I just turn up. I might not be the smartest. I might not be the fastest. I might not be the strongest. I might not be the richest. I might not be the the most intelligent, whatever it is. I might not be the drippiest. I might not be whatever you want to call it, but I will turn up and I will try. Do you get it? And the fact that I've turned up gives me a shot. You do not buy, you do not win the raffle without buying a ticket. That is that is life. Are you going to buy a ticket or are you going to watch your brethren buy tickets? What are you doing? Like, are you living vicariously through people? Are you watching people's pregnancy online and hoping that it was you? 
instead of engineering your life to potentially get a partner so that you can get pregnant and get married if that's what you want and live that life yourself in reality? Or are you just going to, it's another year, you're just going to follow Cardi B and Offset and just vicariously live through celebs and, oh, look what Jada Pinkett Smith done. Like, like at what point are you going to say, Rod, you know what? I've spent an hour scrolling on Shadeborough, scrolling on TikTok or scrolling on whatever page, looking at other celebs and other people's lives. At what point are you going to say, Rod, you know that hour that I just spent, I, I should probably put the end to my own life, you know? I could have meal prepped. I could have went to the gym. I could have wrote down some targets. I could, whatever it is. Like, I don't know, man. As I said, people, people be asking me like, raw, like, why you say like talking so life is, life is so deep. It is that deep. It is that deep, bro. Like there's nothing to say hundred percent that I will make it home tonight. Touch what I do. But I have faith that God is protecting man because I try and put in the work and I, I believe that God is re- repaying me every time I'm helping other people. He just comes and helps me. And that's another thing as well that I'm not here to, I'm not, I wouldn't even class myself as a Christian and I wouldn't even say, oh, I'm spiritual, whatever. All I would say is that right now, I'm really trying to like, just get close to God and just trying to align myself with a level of energy that I know who I am. I know the the righteous things that I'm trying to do and the people that I'm trying to help. And that's just where I want to walk with it. You could be an Aki brother, you could be a Jewish person, you could be any other religion, not no Satanist shit, though we do not rock with that demonic shit. But you could be any other religion, and if it's helping you to become a better person day by day, like make sure you're, you're sticking to it and trying to develop that, that what's the word? I guess, I don't know, what would you say, Benga? Spiritual strength, would you say, within you? Yeah, that's, that's basically what I'm saying. Try and try and develop that spiritual strength within him because one of the things that, as to why I move how I move, is I know my, my parents won't be here forever. I know my brothers won't be here forever. I know even my missus won't be here forever. I won't be here forever. So all I try to do is while I have them in my vicinity in front of me, I try and treat them with a level of love and care so that even if it was the last moment, they would know, nah, you know that man, he cares about me. And I think, again, these are things that people have to start being conscious of, how you're moving. If you've got kids, be patient with them. They're kids, bro. Like, it's pizza, I, like, and I'm saying this from when I was young, and I'm, like, I would be doing my homework, and my mum's moving mad. You know, my mum's a Jamaica, so she's moving mad. She's just like, oh, you don't know the answer already. But the point I'm trying to say is, have patience with people. Not too much, not on a vibe of raw, just let them do whatever they want, but have a level of patience with people and a level of care where you know that certain people, they might not be as equipped to deal with certain things as you. But if they're trying, then work with them, man. Like, support your people as well. Like, even with this pod, like, this pod costs peas to produce and whatever you want to think of it, I know that, like a large part of that is off my back and that's not to um, rubbish none of the man them or anywhere else or nothing like that. But what I'm saying is I, from the beginning, set out on a mission to show to the world that there's more to the ends, there's more to life than the area you're from and there's just more to life in general. So I'm not going to stop because I had a bad month or because I couldn't necessarily afford to do as many episodes as I want or whatever the case is. I'm not going to stop. Ultimately, I'm only going to stop if some mad injunction happens and they say, right, you can't even chat like that on the public speech. Like, unless I get Andrew Tated in this, in this thing, yeah, then I'm still going to be here giving people game because, and I have to reiterate this, I don't do this for a comment online or a, a repost online or whatever. I don't do it for that. I do it for in person when someone says, Cam, like on a real man looks up to you or man respects how you move and you you motivate man to want to want better out of my own life and stuff like that that's why i do it because i know that not everyone no one is not everyone is equipped to do that do you know what i mean some people just need that extra push i'm one of those people i'm cut from a certain cloth yeah i I don't know my mum to ever not have a job you get it that's the cloth that i'm cut from i don't know my dad to never not have a job they might not have made the most money 
but they've always worked every single day. Rain, sleet, storm, sick or not sick. Like, they work. And that's the cloth that man come from. So I understand that I'm one of God's toughest soldiers, essentially. And um, with that responsibility, I take it serious. And I'm very mindful of the platform, as small or as big as it is, whoever's perspective is your perspective. I'm very mindful of the platform man has. And as I keep reiterating to the people, I just want to push positivity and stay productive. Do you get it? So, yeah, man. Um, I mean, it's been 35 minutes of me rambling. I think I could actually probably go a bit longer, and I probably will. I just have to have a little minute and just, you know what I mean, take, take a sip on the yak and that, yeah, I mean. <laughs> huh? Yeah, bro, what do you mean? Mm. You know what it is, yeah? Um, I'm trying to think how to, how to draw this to the people, because I don't want to tell people's business and that, you know what I mean? The universe is very powerful. I'll say... One of the things that I find that I really have come to not be able to tolerate is I move with a very high level of urgency. If you said to me, Cam, you owe me 20 quid or whatever, I'm going to send you whatever so you can... Boom. I, I'm i not with this raw, yeah, couple days, uh, Friday, uh, do, do. No, bro. Today is today. Have I got it today? Boom. Today, done. Now that's another thing done on the list. What's the next thing? People need to get a real level of urgency because as I keep reiterating, we don't have as much time as you think you do. People are dying every day. There's people getting unalived in mad ways, whether it be the roads, whether it be sexual infections and all these like there's a lot of mad people going for surgeries the bbls and that and then dying the ser- like people are passing in in the most crazy situations and again it baffles me for people to see this and say do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna waste even more time you don't bro come on man like bruv rest in peace to the the little youth that um passed away at the fireworks um I, f- I can't remember where it was, but it was in London. There's a little um, ginger kid, rest in peace to him. He weren't even 17, bro. Like, he didn't, he didn't get to see 2024. And there was many people that didn't get to see 2024. In fact, there were people that got to see 2024, but by day one, they've already passed. And as I said, the man will say, Rah, why are you getting so deep in that? Because it is that deep. It just is. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, people, just be mindful of your time. Put that work in. Graft. You get it? Like, don't listen to these negative people. Don't. People are going to watch you do stuff and they're going to say, raw, like, but why are you doing that? Like, what makes you think you're special and rare? Ultimately, while they're chatting, you can still be doing stuff. And even if it's 7% closer to where you need to be, you'll be 7% closer while they're just waffling. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? That's, that's how my brain looks at stuff. I look at stuff as, right, okay, man needs 100, but one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one. Plus one. And then eventually I will get there. It's going to take time. But that's another thing, delayed gratification, especially for young youths. I want to like, let young youths know this as well. Delayed gratification. Everyone has their time. Nothing before your time. Don't think, raw man's going to do this mad move, get a 50 stack and blah, blah, blah. It's air. As quick as you get it, as, as quick as it's going to go. It's air. Long term, fam. The long term things, the things with foundation, the things that are sturdy. Why do you think the buildings have stayed have stayed as sturdy as they have? I mean, I say this while there's been a mad storm and things and trees have fallen over. But why do you think most buildings stay as sturdy as they are? Because they have a solid foundation. If your thing's sturdy and solid, bro, you ain't gonna move, you ain't gonna waver. And as mandem, I'm specifying young youths as well, whether you're under 24, whatever. It's hard, but it makes it even sweeter when you know it's hard and you're still fighting against that tide. You still say, Rod, you know, what? I'm going to bang it over time. Do you know, what? I'm going to get a second job. Do you know, what? fuck it, I'm going to get a third job. And I say this coming from a place where when I was 18 to 22, I worked in Sainsbury's and I did night shifts Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. 
which meant I wasn't outside like that. Don't get it twisted. When it was in a weekday, uni ting, uni brethren, my old link the bre- link the man them Southampton, Brighton, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. However, the point I'm tra- <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is like eventually you realise, Raj, you know what? Me being at work and out the way, not involved, out, the, out of sight, out of mind, that was actually a power. It was actually a benefit to me because what it meant is I can grind again and again and again and again without no eyes on me. I can just do what I'm doing. And eventually what I've seen happen is slowly but surely people are falling by the wayside. The, the fast lifestyle, the fast money, the fast days, it's all air. Even social media influences. This is another thing, man. I have to say this as well, yeah. I, I'm a G, you know. Man, I said 40 minutes, still going. Shout out to the man them. Listen, social media influences and that, yeah. I'm a big believer that most people, including myself, because I don't make money from social media, but I'm not here to make social money from social media. But if it's on the table, I will take that. But... I'm of the big opinion that a lot of people on socials don't even make bread like that. And if they do make bread, they make the same as what someone who's got a nine to five makes. So this is what I'm starting to say, like, rah, what are people really trying to style on people for? Like I've said before, if you're still in the ends, you're still in the blocks, but you have this massive page or you, I don't know, you get paid. I don't know, whatever it is. I don't really know. I know people get paid for promo stuff. What I'm saying is, don't be looking at people with millions of views on TikTok or whatever it is and thinking, oh, the fact that they got million views on TikTok means they must have a million pounds. No. In fact, last I checked, hold on. Hey Siri, how much do you get paid for streams on Spotify? So on Spotify, you can make two to four dollars per thousand streams. That's not a lot. Like, it's not. Like, obviously, if you're a person, like, you're a guy and you've got a fan base, blah, 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 blah. One point, what I'm trying to say is, it's not one view equals one pound or one view equals 10p. Nah. It's, you've got to get, like, half a mil to get a couple hundred. So, all I'm trying to say with this whole ramble is... Do not be fooled by people's illusions that because they're in socials and they're, you know, you might go onto that channel and you go onto that channel and it's like, oh my God, they're on both channels. They must be getting so much money. No, that's not how it works. They might have got some chicken, you know, some chicken and chips or something, but it's like, men are not making nearly as much as you think. And that's not me coming from a place of like, oh, I don't want these people to make money. I'm just saying it in terms of like, like I said, there's this thing of like, rah, if you've got a legit job or you make money like doing normal standard things, what a lot of people do, maybe you work for the train service or you work for TFL or whatever it is, bro, even the bin man, as I said, I've seen people like man in front of the ends, man, I've been man and they kind of looked at me like, rah, like, I don't know if you know, it's me and that. And I was like, well, I kind of do know, but I don't care. Make your money. It's legit. When you get in your car, you go to sleep, you don't have to say, rah, is man going to fly through my window and that? Like, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't live my life like that. And again, that's probably another thing that gives me peace. I mean, aside from my missus, shout out to missus and that. But aside from that, like, these are the things that give me peace. Knowing that when I'm on a whip, I'm doing my own thing, fam. I ain't got to worry about Jake's. I ain't got to worry about, you know, you trying to run me down. I'm good in my ends. I'm good. In South, that's what I'm saying anyway. And uh, assuming someone's going to tell me different, whatever, I don't know, I don't care. But I'm good in the hood, you get me? I'm good in the ends, but I'm also just good in general because I'm a genuinely cool person. Do you know what I mean? Um, as I re- always reiterate, that's that's like probably the bar of the day, I'm reiterating. I ain't saying I am big cam, I am big perfect. No, I'm just saying I strive to be as better or as best as possible and better than I was yesterday. If I went to the gym and I did XYZ reps and it was 10 reps today and I did 12 tomorrow, that's a W for me. And that little W is going to boost me up and boost up my self-esteem. Another thing, gallem, self-esteem. It comes from you, from within, yourself. Do you get it? Stop trying to 
<sighs> bruv, anyway, I'm not even going to talk too much. But as I said, Gala doing surgeries and these things. Then their whole diet is off the, off the Richter scale. So they end up back in the same position. And it's so sad that people are putting their lives at risk for the image. And there's, there's no substance within you. Like, like when's the last time as a, as a lady you took a picture and you didn't use a filter? Like, can you even look at yourself without filter? Like, it's, it's real. And I'm not saying this to cuss Gallim, you know. I'm saying this to say, Ra, you know what would be more cool for you? If you try to work on yourself, whether, whether that be your skincare routine, whether that be the gym, whether it be your diet, whatever it is, it'd be much better for you to work on these things that actually strengthen within so that you just have a certain glow. Shout out my girl's cousin the other day. I saw her, she's pregnant. You know when pregnant girls just have that glow about them? They just look, I don't know, they just look good because they're just, they're, just, they're just glowing. Like certain girls will never experience that. They, like they, ne- they will never have a glow up and they will never glow while they're pregnant. It's mad. I don't know how to explain it, but it's to do the work within, man, is what I'm trying to say, bro. There's a lot of work within. Don't be fooled by the fucking, the illusions of online and socials and that. If you need to, even this, even this, if you need to take a week off of socials or delete the app or sign out, do that as well, bruv. And it don't have to be a week. It might just be the weekend. It might just be the day. I don't know. But one thing about my job is I don't even really be rolling with my phone like that. So that gives me, that forces me to take breaks from social media. And I love it. That's, as I said, that's probably why I roll around with so much peace. That's how I can talk with so much vim, vim, should I say. And that's how I can be talking for 45 minutes and I'll be on so, so on point. So yeah. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. Whoever's watching or listening, you might be thinking, raw. Yeah, but you really just went to a podcast studio to ramble for 45 minutes. Yes. Yes, I did. I paid money. I worked for my money and I can do that. And, and another thing, <laughs> you know, when they say, oh, we need to, we need to, people with the mics and that you need to get a license to have a bike. And that, and blah, 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 blah. Shut up, blood. Yeah. I worked my hard earned money. I got my peas. If I want to spend 500 pounds to go in a room and chat on this mic and that camera and say my shit from my experience, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't give a shit how many people say, oh, it's oversaturated. And oh, all these men talk about is would you give head for half a meal? And oh, I don't give a shit what these people are on. Because if you go and check man's catalogue, you know that's not what we do. We educate the people. We try and motivate the people. And we try and just be authentic. And hopefully, just hopefully, with this episode that starts 2024, that's what you felt. Shout out my bro Ghost. Shout out my bro E-Man. Shout out both both of my bros that's been rocking with me from the start. They couldn't make it here today, but that's all right because they got their own things that they need to deal with and, and sort. But guess what? That gave me the opportunity to step out and chat on my own. Something I've never done in this entire time since doing the podcast of over two years and over 75 episodes so yeah i think that's where i'm gonna end the episode shout out to all the people love to the gang um let me know if you want me to do more of this because i think i am gonna do more of this and um yeah man find all the pagans get me stay away from people that find a problem in every solution stay on your own path you get me take every day as it comes and you will win fam And as DJ Khaled said, you either win with us or you watch us win. (laughs) It's up to you. Peace. Done now.